Hi, I was just having this conversation with myself. I do that all the time. I always talk to myself. It's so funny. But I was talking to myself about happiness. Like, what is happiness really? And I started to Google it and there were tons of questions like, what is happiness? What is my purpose in life? What makes us happy? Where do I find happiness? And there are so many questions going on about happiness. And I'm kind of sure that you know this conversation about um, between the head and the heart. I have that kind of conversation the whole time. <laughs> Many times they want to totally different things. I believe in reincarnation and I believe that we are here on the planet for a specific reason. We are here to grow, we are here to learn and we are here to advance. And my biggest belief is that the soul is in the heart. And in the head is where the logic happens. And many times, especially if we are like, I used to be, I used to be, still am probably, but used to be, so scared of uh, letting people down and always wanted to fit in because I was so scared of making somebody else uh, hurt. So I did everything to just fit in so much. So I actually totally forgot about my own pur purpose, my own passions. I forgot that. And I was always coming from my head instead of my heart. I was coming so much from logic, like, okay, if I do this, this will happen. If I don't do this, this will happen. And there were always like this conversation, like consequences thinking, like what will happen? And recently, the more I study about the soul and how we are, how we are really here uh, to actually learn and develop the soul, and then I realize like the soul is in the heart. And the more I study that, and the more I kind of realize how important it is to actually follow the soul, the more I realize how important it is to, to follow your heart. But the thing is, we all have so many, we're so scared of stuff. It, life can be very, very scary. And this is why the subconscious mind is the whole time holding us back. The subconscious mind catches up these beliefs to protect us. So when you want something and then your head is going to tell you, no, you shouldn't do that because remember, last time you did this when you were four, this happened. And then you end up not doing it because your logic tells you not to. But my biggest belief is the more you can come from your heart, the more chaotic and <laughs> the more, you know, just um, chaos your life will become, the more you follow your heart. But I believe that that is what, what is good for us. Like when we follow the heart, we can find true happiness. Because in just follow your logic and follow your mind the whole time, I, I don't think personally that is not the way to happiness. The way to happiness is to come from your heart and really feel, tune into your body, tune into your feelings, like what is real in there. Like if you make this decision, Will your heart sing or will it actually cry? Or will it just be numb? For so many people, I believe the heart is numb because we don't even allow us to feel. And I used to be an expert at that. And um, that is really what I believe. Like the more you can come from your heart, the more true you will be to yourself and the more true you will be to your whole purpose on this earth. And the more true you are to your purpose, the more you will feel happy. Because how many books have you read or how many people have you talked to that are very close to dying like they're old? And what are the things they say? They say, I wish I had followed my heart. I wish I had had the courage to actually do the stuff I wanted to do, what felt right, but they never did it. And then they live, they end up their lives with, re with regrets. And... Um, I don't think we should live that way. I definitely think like whatever age you are right now, that is the perfect age to start to really follow your bliss, like follow your heart. And um, in my life, yeah, it is, it is definitely creating chaos, but it's very, very interesting. And I believe like 
life is like a movie we have no idea what's gonna happen in the next second the next minutes or the next hour we don't know but a friend a new friend of mine she said like I always say to myself, like, give me the popcorn, hand me the popcorn, because life is a movie, and it was just hilarious. I was telling her about life is a movie, and she was telling me about how she always said that, hand me the popcorn. And but if we can just have a look at life like that, okay, we don't know what's gonna happen, but if, the more you follow your heart, I believe, the more true you be to yourself, and the more happiness you can find. And I believe life is about happiness. So the conclusion is like, follow your heart. Absolutely, listen to your logic. But the more you can follow your heart, the happier you will become. So I hope that is helpful and uh, speak to you very soon again. Bye for now.